see you week going. So I want to make some iced coffee. But yeah, it does not really taste like gingerbread cookie, but it just tastes like regular coffee. But I need to use it anyway. I recommend adding double or triple amount more than your regular coffee and just mix it with 100ml of hot water. And here I'm using these cute little ice cube molds, which I'll link it down below. And although you can use a regular one as well. This will take about a maximum of one hour to freeze and I just like adding hazelnut milk on my coffee. I love making popcorns because it pops. What do you do when you finish your puzzles? Do you put it back or leave it like that? These kind of reminded me of dragon eggs. I'm going to make some macaroons using the recipes by Cupcake Jammer and Dane Pemberton, which will all be linked down below. Firstly, you'll have to ground your ground almonds even more making sure that you're not taking out any oils <laughs> I don't have a bigger food processor so this will make do for now next we're gonna shift the icing sugar and the ground almonds And it's better not to use the leftovers. Next, I'm adding half of the egg whites and mixing it all together. And also don't forget your food colouring. The concentration of the food colouring should be double the amount of what you want. So you'll need to melt the sugar and water together until it's about 118 degrees celsius and this will be for the meringue i'm using a hand mixer to beat the egg whites in a medium to high speed and our sugar is ready and i'm just going to add it in the middle of the egg whites and just mix it as i go and honestly this gives such a rich and glossy finish and this is different than most of the macaroon recipe I've tried. Now we just divide and mix it all together with the almond mixture. What colour are you going to make your macaroons? I honestly can't recommend this recipe enough. This is completely foolproof, suitable for beginners and experts and Thank you to Dane and Gemma for sharing this recipe with everyone. So you just fold until you can make a ribbon 8 and that's when you'll know it's ready. I actually got these silicone trays especially for macaroons because I'm kind of clumsy when it comes to piping a perfectly round and similar shaped macaroons. Hey, that's me. I'm using this thing called Soleil. I think it's called Soleil. It's actually used to make um, sal roti, which is a traditional Nepalese food. Well, you can use the piping bag to make your life easier and efficient. Once you're done, just tap it to remove the air bubbles. 
and let it sit for about half an hour to 15 minutes. Got some more with she's tracing paper. Look how perfect it looks, apart from the ones in the corner, because I overfilled it. It's ready to be baked when you can see a skin forming on the top. And I actually made a lot, like a lot. So into the oven for about 12 minutes at 160 degrees celsius. I was so excited about how this turned out. I'm going to make two fillings, one will be white chocolate ganache. So I'm just heating the double cream and vanilla essence together until it thickens and then take it off the heat and mix the white chocolate and let it chill. Another filling would be buttercream. So you cream the butter and then add icing sugar. Oh my god, the mess. And this is optional, but I've added food coloring. This is when I saw my life flash before my eyes. So I just use a spatula instead. Sorry, mum. I also made a cake, for, a special cake for someone special. Mix the butter and sugar. Here comes the eggs and mix it. Mix the vanilla essence with the milk and then gradually add it whilst adding the floor as well. the tray and then add your cake mixture and bake for about 15 to 20 minutes at 180 degrees celsius time to decorate the macaroons i got these gold edible glitter which i'll link down below as well and this whole color scheme reminded me of my best friend lily and so i <laughs> decided to name this macaroon lily I use melted white chocolate to stick the sprinkles and as you can see I got different sizes of macaroons because why not but I actually prefer mini ones because it's more easier to eat like in one bite <laughs> so this is the white chocolate ganache I made you can use the piping back but I'm fine with a spoon and you just squeeze it in and there you go and I got this really cute packaging to put it in I managed to find these golden galaxy eggs to decorate the cake I made and this is basically the French buttercream from earlier and with golden eggs, strawberry and the macaroon. Well to be honest I just wanted to make macaroons for the cake but here we go. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> 